Do you want to start in the closet? No, but I will for the video. Thanks. This is a show. We're putting on a show for them, you know? Like you pop out and they're like, what? It's gonna be great. All good? Uh, yeah. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. Jan and Pam from Central Florida. Honestly, thank you so much for recently subscribing Pam from Central Florida. If you want to be like her, you can also subscribe and I'll shout you out. Only if your name is Pam and you're from Central Florida though. What? Oh! I'm the big boob girl. You're the big boob girl? Yeah. Remember you DM'd me on Tinder to be in a video? You said that you wanted a big boob girl and you set your preferences to straight people? Well, I'm the big boob girl. Wait, why am I collabing with you? When I could go on Tinder, pretend to be straight, and get a big boob girl to be in a video <laughs> with me. And then for the thumbnail, have it so close up. Oh my god, if you're a big boob girl and you want to be in my videos, hit me up and like... <laughs> I was gonna say send me a photo, but that sounds weird, so don't do any of that. I take all that back. I don't know if you guys have heard about the channel Jubilee on YouTube. I would describe it as sort of Buzzfeed. If they were more edgy. Yeah, and like more intelligent, you know? You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, because when you're watching a Jubilee video, it kind of seems like you're in a class. Yeah, it's very like educational. We're getting woke. We're going past stereotypes. You know what I mean? It's that sort of vibe, whereas Buzzfeed's like, let's try middle school lunches. What the hell is this? Everyone should revolt again this. Which I also love, but yeah, I like both. But then this one's like, when I was little, <laughs> I don't know. What are you gonna say? <laughs> it's like, something so bad like getting beat by your parents or something. Just gonna make a good old getting beat by <laughs> your parents joke? <laughs> Anyway, Jubilee recently made a video, six gay men versus one secret straight man. And Which we found really offensive. We're gonna watch it and we're gonna guess who the straight guy is and see if we can figure it out before they do. Do you feel like you have a good gaydar? Um, no I don't, cause like sometimes when I'm at the gym I wonder if people are gay. But yeah. I don't know if they are. I think <laughs> my gaydar is really off because like, I sort of just think everyone's gay. When I'm at the gym I just feel like, that wasn't good. Yeah, someone looks at me and I'm like, I'm not gonna have sex with you, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know, I have to wear a t-shirt that has that on it now. Or somebody literally is just like, can I use the treadmill after you're done? And I'm like, I'm taken. They looked at me weird. <laughs> All right, let's just get into this then. What should the loser have to do? Um, Loser has to do as many push-ups as they can until they can't do anymore. I'm gonna film it though. And like everyone online will know like, he can only do 11 push-ups, you know what I mean? You get bullied for the rest of your life. Yeah, completely bullied for the rest of eternity. When did everybody know that they were gay? Literally my birth. Literally I had a boyfriend in like kindergarten, I promise oh you. Oh my gosh. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, he had a boyfriend in kindergarten. That's crazy. He was just out there in kindergarten saying, do you want to date me? Right away that guy's like obviously dressed to the gayest, but that could be a straight person pretending. Yeah, it could be um, uh, illusion. He had a boyfriend in the kindergarten. I actually had a girlfriend in kindergarten. In kindergarten, I thought I was straight, kind of. Cause like, I was like really attracted to this girl. But yeah. I think it was just like best friends. But I remember we played house and she kissed me, but she also kissed like three other guys. Oh, so you were part of a polygamy. Still husband polygamy. We brought together seven gay men. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I am gay. When you hear that enough, it sounds like they're speaking another language. <laughs> I I'm, know. Gay. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> if the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, he or she wins the entire prize. Do you think they're gonna find the gay? Uh, yeah. I feel like they will find the gay guy because they're gonna go in dumb. When did everybody come out? When I was 18. 17. My mom actually asked me when I tried to tell her. I was a little bit later, mm. so I kind of hid it for a long time. I was like 23. I came out to my sisters when I was 17. I came out to my mom when I was 21 because she found a cock running in my room. So the first round is already over and they have to vote someone out. We haven't seen anything, but I would just say, based on complete stereotypes, I vote out the guy with the long hair. He looks the least gay? I would like being purely stereotypical, offensive, problematic. You yeah, know he I mean? does look the, the least gay. Yeah, who would you vote out? I'm gonna vote out the guy with the pink jacket <gasps> because something about him, I feel like he's faking it. Yeah, okay. Why. They're all voting for the long haired guy. You bitches. <laughs> it's not me. Sometimes people tell me I'm not, I don't like necessarily look gay or quote unquote what people might assume looks gay. Just like the long hair and... <laughs> if you have long hair, you aren't gay. I know, it's like, you don't fit the stereotypes. <laughs> so when he comes out and they're like, but you have long hair. Prove it. You look like you hike. Maybe the clothes, just like very, I want to say bland. <laughs> <laughs> if you were like The a clothes were just a little bit too basic to be gay. You know what? They have to go off of these stereotypes to get the money, you know? Yeah. They can't really do anything else. Do you think gay people should be able to wear whatever they want? No. Neither, it should be illegal. When did everybody know that they were gay? 
At what age? The birth. Literally my birth. <laughs> Literally, I had a boyfriend in like kindergarten, I promise oh you. Oh my God. Really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, his name is Christopher, and we kissed on the slide in like kindergarten, and I was like, I'm gay. I still <laughs> just like have an inkling that that's the secret straight. He's faking it. Or that like that's so just his general thing. Like he's just like, I'm a straight guy and I wear makeup and stuff. Oh, and that's like, gonna be like the catch at the end. And we're like, what? You know what I mean? Maybe I'll start crying. Cause it's so Yeah, start touching. bawling. If no one knows I'm trans. Yeah, technically I had to come out three times. One, I thought, I was a lesbian because I was born a woman. So I thought, okay, that's a thing. And then after that, I was like, no, I'm trans. So I had to come out again after that. And then I was like, yeah, the, I'm gay. The trans male might also be a possible suspect of being a straight man. Yeah, like, like because people think it's suspicious how. Yeah. That's a good tactic though. Cause like he says, I came out as lesbian then I'm trans and now I'm gay. So like people are like, oh, we should just believe him. But he might be the one just wanting the money, the secret straight. Yeah. Because he's trying to make it sound confusing. Yeah. But oh my gosh, if that is all true, that's crazy having to come out that many times. I know, can you picture that? Coming out once is enough, you know? For me, it was just, so repressed because my dad was super homophobic. So yes. it was one of yes. those things where yes. super heavily protected and guarded. It just kind of came to a point in my life where like I realized this is my life. I need to do something for myself and not live in that fear. Can you imagine if they go through like this heartfelt story, like spilling their heart and then it just ends up they're like, I made it all up. I know, just for the money. And it's actually like a sad story. I know, they like, they get everyone in the room bawling. Like I made all that up <laughs> on the spot. That was improv. Has anyone had sex with a girl? You have. What was, it, what was it like? Drunk. I'm allergic. I was very drunk. <laughs> I'm allergic. I was very drunk, pulled out after 15 seconds to her face. Did he say he threw up in her face? <laughs> Wait, but That's I am traumatizing. Can you imagine this poor girl thinks like, oh, I'm gonna hook up and then gets thrown up on after 15 seconds? <laughs> Can we listen again if he said that? I was very drunk. <laughs> Pulled out after 15 seconds to her face. Did he say threw up in her face? What did he say through her face? Oh, I think he said <laughs> to her face. So I think he said, I told her to her face. I, I'm still going with the throw up story. Because can you picture, you have sex with someone for 15 seconds and then they leave in the throw What if that was the losing of the virginity? Can you That's imagine? So sad. Oh no. At this point, I'm sort of thinking they're all gay. Good luck, guys. Oh, they all voted that guy. The one that you thought. Oh, so maybe he, um, I, is Maybe he was gay. the mole. Because they said he was wearing a Beyonce on the run jacket. Like, I picture, like, he came to the shoot and was like, who has, like, something gay I can slip on? And when you look closer, it seems like he's wearing sparkly shoes, which I think is a part of the character he's trying to play. Yeah. So, what's everybody's favorite part about our community. They're more accepting. It's super open. It's nice to have a community of yeah. people that are, they've been through the same thing you've been through. So they get it. What's your favorite part? My favorite part of the gay community is when you come out, um, Lady Gaga sends you a letter saying congratulations. Oh, sort of like Hogwarts? Yeah, so you get into a secret community. Oh yeah, I love how that happens. That's probably my favorite two part. Yeah, somehow she just knows. I know, she sends you a letter, like has her fingerprint on it, a strand of her hair. She says, God bless you with this. Take it with you as you will. And then you have to go to her witchcraft school for a summer. We have the same story, but it's like different, you know? Exactly. So and the it's... fashion sense. The fashion sense. <laughs> it's so funny how like- All the gays out there who are like- trying to keep it serious. <laughs> oh, no, all the gays out there who don't care about clothes are like, well, shit. <laughs> who is in a relationship? Two or three years ago, and I broke up with him because he was still in the closet, and I'm like, just mm. out there. Like, like, I don't have time for that. Like, I'll make yeah. out with you in public. I want to hold your hand. Yeah. I helped him come out. When he told me about that, I started to cry. Oh, I was in my car, I was like, shit. Two hours later, made all that up, I'm actually straight. <laughs> 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 okay, this is really getting hard. Most of me wants to be like, they voted the straight person out, but also like, I feel like it probably still is in there. And I'm starting to think it's the guy on the left. Oh. I don't have any reasoning, but like my intuition. For some reason, I feel like these three guys on the right, for sure out the mole, and then that, the, the threw up in the face Yeah, guy. the threw up in the guy for sure is gay. So then it only leaves that guy. Who does everybody listen to? I'm more of an R&B guy, so I feel I'm not as poppy. Megan the Stallion. Uh, you, we're right here. Look, we're, we're right here, Megan. Wait, Look, Nikki or Cardi? Nikki or Cardi? This is gonna decide if you're gay or not? <laughs> That's so funny. You're in a contest about seeing who's the straight guy and this is what you have. Uh, Nikki or Cardi, they say Cardi, straight. Oh, they voted out the guy who threw up in a girl's face. And like, so in my mind, he's for sure gay. Yeah, he's sane. He I was... feel like they already voted out the mole. But a small little part of me still thinks it's the guy on the right. Oh. And it's gonna be this huge twist and we're all gonna be left gasping. <laughs> but then- I was gonna say gaping, but- 
It's not the right word. Oh, maybe they're just voting people out because they want a big old cash prize. If I was in this, even if I thought the straight had already been voted out, I would vote till it was just me and someone else. Oh, I, also, I don't want to split the money with all these people. Yeah. I want to split it with just one other person, preferably just by myself. Was Bella Thorne once said, TTY likes away? <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't gay. He both As Bella Thorne said. T T Y L X O X. Beat, 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 not B F F. Cause I D K what's coming next. And I'll be L M H O with the rest. So T T Y L X O X. As Bella Thorne. I have never even thought of saying that. That's gonna be my new thing. I know. If you're just leaving or to be shady, say, okay, well, as Bella Thorne once said. I feel like most people won't understand that reference though, right? Even I. I'm too old to know that reference. It's only a small group of people. Yeah, it's a very small niche audience. <laughs> I see a tattoo of a lady on your arm. This is how I feel. I feel like I just have myself. So that's why she's like hugging. Gotcha. Because, mm. yeah. Why not get a man? Uh-oh, he had a tattoo of a woman on his arm. Straight Ooh. alert! Heterosexuality is maybe entering the building. Yeah, so if you have a tattoo of a girl, that means you're attractive to girls, which means you wouldn't be gay. Straight. What did y'all do throughout high school? Oh, good like one. Like sports. I did performing arts. Part of me now thinks that he's the straight. Cause like he went straight to performing arts. Like maybe he's just trying to go to the easiest answer. Oh yeah, cause that's like the easiest. Yeah, he's like, I can't say I did any actual sports, you know? Yeah, like football or something. Cause like I have to be in this stereotypical thing to win the money. I don't know his San Francisco story. But oh that yeah, that hopefully that wasn't all made up, and right? Didn't he say his dad was homophobic? <laughs> oh yes, I, he, don't, he didn't make up. Do you think he didn't make up this whole backstory? No, I think he's gay. People do a lot of things for money. A lot of people be scared in here. <laughs> people didn't know, right? Because I did musical theater, I did choir, I did dance, I did a little bit of football. Oh my, oh. He's, he's reading my entire biography. I'm exactly the same. I did a little bit of football. I did actually a whole football, season right? of football. Were you good at it? No, I sucked. I remember one time a guy came up to me in practice and said, you're the weakest link on the team. One time that happened to me in baseball. Are you kidding so, me? So I would always hide a bat, and one time I went back to the, like, the dugout or whatever, and <laughs> someone actually said to me, like, you suck at this. And so like, you <laughs> never hit the bow. And I, and I actually felt ashamed. I was like, oh, that's safe, but the guy came up to me that you're the weakest person on the whole team. I was like, I know, but like, why are you telling me? Oh my gosh, because you already knew it. I know, I remember I literally would like tell the coach, like, oh, I don't really feel like playing, and he would just let me sit on the sidelines. Would you like tackle people though? No, it was terrifying. Being out there was like the Hunger Games. Okay, who are they gonna vote out? I think like they're gonna vote out the beanie guy. Yup. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> that could be the mole leaving the square. Like part of me still thinks that. Like if you had to pick two people, who would the moles be? Mine would be that guy and the guy in the short shorts. Okay, um. Who would your two picks be? Mine would be the guy in the beginning with the pink jacket and the glitter shoes. Yes. And my second would be the guy with the beanie. You're just getting straight vibes? No, I don't think he's straight, but if I had to. Pick. If you had to pick. So basically yeah. you only think the guy, the blonde guy with the Beyonce jacket. Yeah. I'm just gonna fully go with him. I think it's him. Okay, you put all your eggs in one basket. Each one of you guys gets 20 seconds on why you shouldn't be voted out. Oh my god, 20 well, wait, seconds to, to prove you're gay. I don't even know what I do. This like, is like the opposite of me in middle school. <laughs> like trying to prove I was straight for 20 seconds. Oh yeah, just like, hey. <laughs> if honestly if I was in this, I'd just like, just do stuff like this. I would do the splits, take off my pants, twerk. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> And then like, yeah. probably sing Ashley Tisdale. Yeah. And then also be like, Lindsay Lohan's biography is this. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gay as fuck. Um, I be sucking dick. Um, can I say I be sucking dick. Do this. Oh my god, oh, he literally oh, is doing splits oh, and stuff. <laughs> See this, he's doing the right, this is what you gotta do in this gay competition. This is literally the gay Olympics. <laughs> Who is the gayest? Wouldn't it be so funny if it was opposite though? You did prove your shape. Oh yeah, what would you do? Love Tim McGraw. Oh, I bet, yeah, I'd be like, oh yeah, I was going for the 49ers doing this. Oh before. yeah, I don't know how to, I can fix the car. But don't you love when your wife makes you casserole on a, on a Monday night? <laughs> yeah. I'm gay. <laughs> Cause I, I mean, it took a while to come to grips with it, but you know, after coming to grips to it. Come on, do the splits or something. It's <laughs> work. I am gay, literally. <laughs> <laughs> How is it that a meme? <laughs> I am gay, literally. <laughs> literally, I'm saying get into it, the soft glam. I'm just saying, like, so at this point, yeah, you said like, that you think he's not gay. Like if he, if you had to pick, yeah. do you think he? Because I, I, mean, I think he's gay, but I also could see like it uh, being a huge twist, and he's just a straight guy who likes to wear makeup, you know? Yeah. <laughs> 
They voted out Beanie. He literally did a death drop. And like his back is broken. I'm not, he's voted out, doesn't walk home with any cash. I'd be pissed. If the lights turn green. Oh my God, imagine if the straight is still in there. I would be mind blown. I'm sweating in gay anxiety. I'm good, we're confident. Yeah. <gasps> they did it. I just had the feeling that. So now we each have one game. final pick. So okay. you're still going with the blonde guy in the Beyonce jacket? So I didn't know he was wearing a Beyonce jacket, but then when they mentioned that, that just that solidified it for me. Because I just picture if you were straight, you just would get Beyonce. Every yeah. Day. It's like, I love her albums. I'm going to say the guy in the plaid shirt. I'm saying that because he came out three times, and I think he only came out twice. I'm just my intuition is telling me. All okay. right. Oh my god. I'll see. <gasps> yeah. Well, you <laughs> knew it! <laughs> So there you have it, guys. You can be gay and be bland. You can be straight and wear makeup. None of it matters. Just be you, Jeremy. Just stop not being you. And just always remember, when you came out of your mom's hole, you were born to shine. And all of this is just a fun little thing that we do. So live life to the fullest, please. Learn how to do the splits as well. All right, well, you gotta um, you... either sing or do push-ups. So which one do you wanna do? I feel like I'm not gonna sing because what if in the future I do wanna be a singer and then people call me out for doing auto tune. All right, you have to do push-ups then. This is so awkward, but okay. Do I actually have to do it as, okay, okay I just do 10. I used to do it until you can't do it anymore. Okay, I had to sing. I'm not gonna look at you, just fully do it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That was pretty good. So like, I don't know how to sing, but I just tried what I picture good singing. That actually sounded pretty good. <laughs> it's oh so funny because like, I, when you oh said that, <laughs> when you said that, like, I actually was like, okay, like. I know. I, I, that was like part of my mind. I was like, why did I know this this whole time? I know, it's like Demi at the end of Camp Rock. All right, well, follow me on Instagram. My socials are below. His socials are below him. Don't forget to subscribe to me. Subscribe to him as well. Comment below on a scale from one to 10 how gay you are. And with yeah. that, we're gonna go. Bye. Bye.